and we're up and running, counting down, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I hope you guys can hear me loud and clear, and I also hope you guys can see me nice and plain. The reason why I'm asking that is because I'm still using my old iPhone 6. I'm waiting for my Samsung Galaxy to, to come out of the repair shop. Um, took it there last Wednesday, and they said it, it could take up to 10 days. But now... There's a, a postal strike, so I'm hearing, so I don't know, it might, might not be until next week. But yeah, you're going to have to bear and grin and bear with me uh, while I record on this phone. But yeah, as I said, I hope it's coming over nice and clear to you guys. Um, welcome to my channel, Balls Door Boys Towers. Sorry I haven't uploaded much content over the last few days. Um, I, I'm sure most of my viewers know that I'm the type of person... Uh, like this. When I start something, I cannot stop until it's completely finished. So I started my shed probably about two weeks ago. Um, the outside is completely done. It's watertight. It's waterproof. Um, look, and it looks very well. I'm very impressed with it actually. Uh, but I knew it'd come out looking the dogs after um, I put my hand to it. But yeah, um, now I'm building that the inside, and um, that's to give it more strength, more structure, and. Uh, yeah, it's going really, really, really well. Um, the reason why I've stopped today, I haven't done much to it, anything to it today, is because of the rain. And um, that's a blessing in disguise. So I'm grateful that we've got a bit of rain to give me a day off from it. Uh, because otherwise I'd be, I'd been out there doing it. But it's saying that, I think it's going to brighten up this afternoon. Um, so, yeah, man in his shed, eh? So, guys, today... What I want to have a little chat with you about is the brutality what we suffered in HMP Send. It was probably around 1982, 1983. Don't quote me, um, but it's around them years, yeah, when I went in there as a 14 or 15 year old kid. Now, that was my very first um, prison that I went to, and um, I've got quite a few videos on HMP Send if you go back through my um, videos. So, yeah, uh, that, that was my first nick what I went to, and it was called a short, sharp shock. Um, it definitely was um, all three of them and a lot more because the brutality of what we suffered was on a different level. Um, today, they couldn't get away with it. It'd actually be, you know, an assault charge or an AV8 charge because we was getting um, physically abused on a day-to-day -day basis by these big, hairy-arsed screws, all in their late 30s, 40s, pumped up on steroids, and um, coming in, bullying us, and, you know, going into their offices mess and, and, and sharing their stories and having banter over um, who could harm us the most. It was like that amongst them. So, yeah, very, very, very bad experience in there. But, um, as I say, if you go back on my videos, you'll see uh, the brutality of what we suffered. It is back on my videos. Um, but, yeah, the reason why I've brought that up today is because of... I've, I honestly believe that that is what shaped my life. Um, because once I come out of there, I, I didn't have no fear whatsoever of going into a prison. Actually, um, you know, when I grew out of the age of going to, to, to DCs and going into youth custodies, uh, you know, it was like going from home to home because it was like kindergarten to me after I come out of send. Um, nothing could ever, ever um, have that impact on me again. So, yeah, that's why, really, it didn't stop me from committing crime going to send, uh, which it should have done. It should have shocked me. It should have put the fear of God into me. But um, I quickly became accustomed to it. I quickly... Uh, got used to the regime. I'm not saying I like the regime because, as I said, say, we was getting uh, abused on a day-to-day -day basis, physically abused. Um, but, yeah, I've become accustomed to it. And um, many, you know, a few years later, I was in youth custodies and then in and out of youth custodies. I've done every single one of them, even Phil and my wood, Huntingham, Feltham, Rochester, Ashford, um, all the... Uh, for, yeah, all, all the um, the mount when it was a, a young offender's before it turned to an adult jail. I've done that too as a, as a young offender. So yeah, I've done all the young offenders right up to my adult 
and then uh, started going into adult prisons, getting three years, five years, four years, and the last one what I got was the 12, and I've got three years consecutive on top. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm a reformed person today. Uh, I'm an author. I've written my first book, and I'm in the process of uh, finishing my second book. So I'm living proof um, that people can change their mindset. They can change their life. Yeah, you've got to get to that point where you're, it's like a light switch in your head and you'll get to that moment where you know you've had enough, enough is enough and I want to change my life and um, live it as a drug-free person. Um, so I had that to battle with and I also had the, uh, the battles of uh, not going back to jail, not getting pulled back into that, them same circles and um, the triggers and the temptations of what I was getting on a day-to-day -day basis in 2010, right up until we moved out of London, was uh, on another scale, you know. Um, I wasn't mixing with the same crowd uh, because obviously I'd met Sam and um, started to uh, do my own thing and stay, stay away from the old crowd. But yeah, it was very, very hard, you know, um, can, especially after the lifestyle which I led, you know, I know what it was like and how, how quick it, and not easy, but how quick it w would take me to uh, go into somewhere and come out of thousands of pounds. Um, but yeah, this time round, I um, was thinking about the consequences of my actions, thank God. And as I say, that, that point, I didn't reach that point until I got to the age of 42. So um, if you're still young and uh, you're kicking yourself up the nuts thinking, I want to reform myself, I want to change myself, you will get to that point in life when you will know enough is enough. And it it, it took me many years. Uh, prison wasn't a deterrent for me in the end. It wasn't punishment for me in the end. Uh, it was like going back to uh, school, to be honest with me, my old friends, because every single jail I went into up and down the UK, I was known. And, and that's a good thing because, you know, I... I fell straight in and got straight on my feet in every single jail I went to, but it sure wasn't a deterrent. Um, what would have been worse punishment for me but back in the day would have been things like community service and um, and things like that where you've got to pay, give back to the community. Uh, but yeah, the, the offence is what I was committing and the charges what I was getting. I suppose it didn't warrant getting community service, um, but it sure would have done back in the day. I mean... I wasn't getting arrested for armed robberies in my twenties. Not saying I wasn't an armed robber in my twenties, but I weren't getting arrested. I weren't getting arrested in my twenties, uh, and I didn't get arrested until saying that I got arrested at twenty nine or was it thirty, something like that. Um, I, I got arrested, but yeah, that's there's more content on that back in my videos, guys. But I'm gonna. Let you guys get on with your day. I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm sorry um, I haven't uploaded much content, but I'm back on form now, and um, I've given myself a, a kick up the uh, no, no mad to um, get content uploaded because I know that you guys, a lot of my followers, wait for content and um, rely on my content to get them through the day because, you know, you guys know that I've been through it, you know. I'm an ex-user, I'm an ex-inmate, what's done a lot of birds, you know what I mean? And I'm someone what's uh, probably an inspiration to you guys. And I'm so grateful that I am. Um, look at me, take me for an example and, um, and let yourself know that you can change if you want to do it hard enough, guys. Big shout out to all my subscribers. Those guys that's been with me from day one and that are still there with me on my journey today, it's you guys what inspires me and gives me the push to put more content on because without my followers and without all my positive feedback and comments, I wouldn't be uploading content. I'll just be um, getting on with my day-to-day -day basis. But I enjoy uploading content to inspire others and um, to, to, let, to let everyone know that we can change if we want to change. You know what I mean? Hard enough, guys. I'm not saying it's easy, but with very hard work and determination, motivation, you can do it, guys. Whatever you're doing, stay safe. Have a great day. It's nice to be back. Peace.